This song's dumb. I love it. Eat machine. I'm an eat machine. I'm an eat machine. <laughs> Wag your tail like you're coming home. Make the booty drop something something. What the fuck? Make the booty be mine? Is but that doesn't, what she says? doesn't rhyme with home though. I know, but... Also, sorry if there's like spooky thunder during this stream, but uh, <laughs> there's a decent chance we weren't going to be streaming because uh, there's like a tornado warning. But it was cool. It's okay. <laughs> uh, the the part of the storm that had some rotation in the clouds has passed. There's now no the only, funnel clouds, no the touchdowns. Only, uh, the only storm going on is a commentary storm. Whoa! It's a brewing. <laughs> Is that bug still in the window? He left. Oh, he's gone. Okay. He's a little traumatized, but he's gone now. Mmm. Eat machine. Hmm. Anyways. Wag that tail like you're coming home. Make the booty drop. Make the booty mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah. Hi. For, uh, people joining us, we're going to be streaming, obviously, Microsoft's conference very soon. Uh, we have a bingo card this time. We will have bingo cards for the rest of the conferences. Ooh. We didn't have one for ETH, EA because, like, I kind of forgot, but also EA's isn't... Also, it's it's going to be the same thing. You're going to get a bingo every year because you know what to expect. Sports and boredom. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yep. Uh, somebody just posted it in the chat, that, that card. But also, if you're looking for the, the bingo thing, our, our bingo card, and it's not in the chat... Uh, if you might have to refresh, but the uh, right below the the stream on our Twitch page, there will be a link for that bingo card. But let's bring it up and see what we got. Let's. So. All right. For uh, it's going to be randomized, so everyone might has a chance to get a bingo here. I think. And this was a uh, group effort between me and Chip. And some people from Twitter as well. Yeah. People from Twitter. Yeah. So uh, one uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is there. I don't know where it's going to be, but I think it's going to be at E3 at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about Fortnite. Please stop. Yep. A vague CG trailer game reveal. That should be the center, almost. Maybe. Man gets horny about cars on stage. That should also be the center. <laughs> uh, fable? There might be a Maybe Fable game? Fable? Um, me seeing cool games and just going, I'll just buy these on PC instead. Mm -hmm. A cool indie game I'll get on the Switch later, like a year later when it gets released. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Punish Master Chief or something similar. I think if there's a new Halo, uh, Master Chief's going to be at his lowest point. He's going to have two eye patches. Yeah. Uh, where, did I, where was I? Okay, that was pretty okay, cool. Okay, uh, we might actually have the reaction. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was pretty neat. I thought uh, I thought that was for one of the um, announcer people saying that, not us. Oh no, that because sometimes I they put, sometimes after a trailer, be like, that was pretty cool, right? No, guys? I was that. No, I put that in there as the reaction to like. Okay. Me going like that's actually good. Can it be both? Yeah, it can be both. Okay. Uh, boring game on screen for too long. Mm -hmm. We put that there because of EA. <laughs> Inspired uh, by An EA. awkward interview. Final Fantasy shows up and people get mad about it. The free space is everything is Mountain Dew green. Mm -hmm. uh, Halo, but Battle Royale now. Microsoft tries to make their own Smash. That would be weird. Huh. They have like three characters. <laughs> Conquer! <laughs> Microsoft wants to be successful in Japan. Uh, to explain this more, I think they might be trying to get more like Japanese games on their system again oh. to make Japanese audiences want it. Um, okay. An old IP gets revived, most likely like a rare IP or something. Uh, another Destiny-like game. Conquer shows up, but in somebody else's game. A new Banjo-Kazooie, but not by Rare. Microsoft doubles down on Gears. I think there might be more than one Gears of War game announced. Mm -mm. Uh, Crackdown 3 still looks kind of... Eh. Mm. Uh, a Gears trailer uses Mad World again! Uh, Xboxers get cultured with a near automata port. Mm. And Alan Wake 2. Yay. Yay! They're not gonna do an Evil Within. I wanted that to be on the bingo, but I know it's not gonna happen. The Evil Within? Another Evil Within. Was this them? That's Bethesda. That's Bethesda. That's, Bethesda. that's, that's the later one, that's I'm sorry. Later. I'm all yeah. scrambled. That's okay. Ugh, I'm such a fake gamer. I forget who made the thing. Uh. There's about 57 developers making all of the <laughs> different things. Oh well. Yeah, how are we gonna cross out these things on your- I can click on it. Ooh. Also there's, you know, Ooh. we got this. There's one that's already confirmed though. Oh. Where is it? 
Halo, but Battle Royale. <gasps> Oh, really? Near Tom Ta is getting ported uh, to, I didn't know that. to Xbox One. Good for Xbox. It got accidentally leaked earlier today. I'm happy for them. Play a real video game. <laughs> to bring back the uh, chat. Can yes. You see it? Neat. Make the booty drop. You should bring back the chat and uh, make the booty drop. Yep. Mm -hmm. I made the booty drop. That was a little bit of a drop. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, should start in about a minute. If they're on time. These oh. things frequently are not on time. <laughs> yes, you know? true. Unless it's uh, pre-recorded. Like, yeah, I can't believe people... I mean, next year's going to be even more pre-recorded ones, but hey, who do you think is going to be the last, you know, company to not pre-record these things? Mm. I feel like gradually, eventually, it's going to be all not live, which is sad, but... Uh, Ubisoft. Yeah, they seem to give big shit about being live, like yeah. the novelty of being live. People More, are saying EA is going to be last in the chat, though. Maybe EA. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's starting oh, on time. It's starting. Wow. There's that green. And uh, here comes eight. Yes. Wow, you called it. Oh, Somebody man. clipped that. Oh man. <laughs> If I wanted to put more joke things on the cards, uh, I would have said Fusion Frenzy is coming back. <laughs> Thought they were going to count Whoa. down with some games coming at me, but they didn't, which is weird. It was just some, you know, cubes and stuff. Look at all these screens. This is the Xbox E3 2018 briefing. Yes, it is. You've come to the right place if that's what you were <laughs> expecting. The rest of this is pre-recorded. Hmm. Ah, uh, feel the rain on my face. It's a buff deer. <laughs> wow. Well. Fuck you up. <laughs> my God. Is this wild, maybe? Damn, that thing is That would be stacked. Ubisoft, though. That's a stacked st stag. I can't <laughs> even say it. Forza? Forza. Forza. No. Imagine yeah, Forza had, like, buff deer you could run Fa into. Fantasy Forza. <laughs> Final Forts of Fantasy. <laughs> yep, Chess got it right. Uh, Cabela's Wild Hunts. <laughs> I hope Master Chief shows up in this trailer. He's gonna be riding one of those. Yeah. <laughs> What's it gonna be? <laughs> What's it gonna be? Uh, Master Chief crash landed on a planet, now he has to survive. Against 99 other Master Chiefs. <laughs> That'll fuck up that buff deer. Not confuse him. Yeah, it's Halo. Cut to Master Chief, and he's like in a loincloth, just surviving on the land. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a beard and a son. Country roads, take me home. Is this a remake of the first Halo or something? It looks like a remake. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh no, it's infinite. Oh, it's infinite. Pe people were saying, like on message board and stuff, I heard it's called Halo Infinite. They were right. It's a crossover with Bioshock. That would be terrible. <laughs> Whoa, slip space. Oh, he can put Switch games in his helmet now. Oh, good. You can bring all your uh, Master Chiefs Please on the go. Welcome the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer. <laughs> oh, he looks like that's two sizes too small for him. He looks like his shoulders are getting strangled in that thing. Oh, big crowd. Huh? Big crowd. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're all getting bonuses. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Suck ups! Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We're now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. 
we can't know how much the thunder is getting picked up by the mic. Yeah, I can't really tell we'll from my I headphones. I hope it just makes it sound so more dramatic. Yeah, uh, maybe relaxing. Across uh. time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands. I mean, this is a pretty big right fucking here. audience. Yeah, it's big. Welcome to E3 2018. Uh oh. There it goes. Okay. Phew. There it goes. I need my games. Did, did everybody, I need my game like fix. Did everybody get the same T-shirt when they walked through the door. Us from <laughs> Fan Fest. Oh, that's why everyone's happy to see you. A hundred percent of the proceeds from your Fan Fest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Well, everyone's doing a charity Thanks thing. Mm -hmm. Kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of competition and our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Most of all, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, <laughs> gender, and geography. <laughs> This, this is why I've in my headphones, I can just barely hear the birds Bill tweeting. <laughs> that gaming is a great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Legendary characters. Just imagine just some birds trapped in here. <laughs> Not just for 10 hours, but for 10, 20, 30 years. Bold oh. stories. That inspire the hero with the thunder made that sound ominous. I know. Like, 12, oh no. 20, 30 Is that years. a threat, Phil? You're trapped. We feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. Danger. <laughs> As gamers, we are at a momentous time. Stop sucking my dick We're and show me games. <laughs> I hate when I hate when they're like gamers are, are different than everyone else. Gamers are explorers. So, gamers months, don't know when to quit the because they're so determined to get mm -hmm. things done and save Poland, the world one the game at a time. And it's just like shut up. Mm -hmm. They're consumers. Single developers. Games are cool. Creators gamers less so. The full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. 50 games. The most daring change to the Halo series yet. Master Chief is older and he's a DILF now. He's a DILF now. Yeah, you gotta... Haven't you never seen his face in any game? I don't think so. Okay, so it's the beard is just coming out from under the helmet? Yeah. <laughs> He has All a, a more tired-sounding voice, <laughs> and he's sick of this shit, All but he's got to be a father mm -hmm. for his small son, also wearing the same armor. Yes, yes. He's born with the helmet on. Yeah. Breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. Exclusive. Oh, I, lo I love that exclusive voice, guy. Exclusive. Exclusive. Oh, oh, it's a sequel to uh, Ori. Ori. The Blind Forest. I haven't played the first one yet. I own it. People say it's really good. I know. Oh, uh, bingo card time. I'll just buy these on PC instead. <laughs> but it's exclusive. <laughs> I thought it was exclusive. You should take it off so people can watch the trailer, hun. I know. Sorry. So you can, I was looking at the you, others. You can you can read it without it being yeah, on the yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah. I'm though. sorry. <laughs> Gotta bring Jeff back in. It's a very pretty game. Oh yeah. The first one was too. Really nice. The Halo trailer, I don't think that qualifies as a vague trailer because we know what no. Halo's about. Like, yeah, you know it's what just gonna be Halo's more, about. More of the same fucking. You don't need a story trailer or a gameplay trailer for Halo. Yeah. You know it what it is. It would have to be for like a revival of an old IP or just a new game that, and it tells you fucking nothing mm -hmm. what the game will actually play like. 
You know what you're getting with Halo. Mm-hmm. They're not going to change it. <laughs> it's not going to be a dating sim all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Whoa. That looks fun. Nice. I still have to play the first. What's though, with all the so. eights on the ground? Oh, it's are they infinity mm. symbols or are they eights? Uh, <laughs> They're gone now. I didn't see them for long enough. Twirling eights. World premiere. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Ashra's Wrath Two. No. Uh, uh hmm. Neo 2. Nah. Doesn't quite look like the same style nah, as Neo. So you're awake. Oh, this is from Soft's game. Like oh! Is not your fate just yet. It did yeah. feel a little Dark Soulsy. Shadows die twice. In, in it's tone. Something they tased last year. Some time has passed since I found you. Is this the Tenchu? Still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The limb you have lost will give way to something more useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. Wow. His fucking arms are switch <laughs> weapons from Bloodborne, and it's also a grappling hook! <laughs> Mmm, this looks good to me. <laughs> this looks like fast Dark Souls. Well, basically Bloodborne. Oh, okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's fast Dark Souls. <laughs> Faster Bloodborne. More acrobatic Bloodborne. I like the parrying a lot. Mm-hmm. Your death won't come easily. Oh man, Whoa. that's neat. This looks neat. Ooh. Wow. Neat. Yeah. Neat. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah. He's welcome from Bethesda okay. Game Studios. Todd Howard. In the second row. Yep, that was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's Todd. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I thought this was just going to be Bethesda, oh, you know. <laughs> you know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this. Having a busy day, Todd. Mm -hmm. And uh, Phil said to me. I'm having a few friends over. Why don't you uh, stop by? And look, I know Phil is really, really charming, um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. And the good news is, you're our friends too. We've had an incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. Now backwards compatible. <laughs> and that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. And now, <laughs> we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. And hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Oh. Not even at their own conference. Mm -hmm. Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games. Mm -hmm. And so it I thought, is yep. our biggest one yet. Because that's the vault it that was supposed to open on time. Yeah. 50 years after. Four. Set in the hills of West Virginia, 
You are one of the first to emerge into an untamed <laughs> and very different wasteland. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is three dogs. <laughs> Oh, god damn. <laughs> Alright, so is this gonna be what the rumors said it was gonna be? It's gonna be like some kind of multiplayer thing? <laughs> woo woo! That guy should probably start running. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I don't think power arm helps with that. Duck and cover. Oh, don't play Country Roads again. It's going to be stuck in my head for months. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you get. 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. It looks nicer than the other this vaults. sprawling mm -hmm. underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry. West Virginia. Also, I'm aware that the mouse curse is barely on the screen, but it doesn't go away on this stream. It just won't. Life is older, older than the trees. Oh, no. <laughs> How can mountains blow in the breeze? <laughs> How can they do that? Here's a dead guy. <laughs> Steal his armor. Yeah, why did nobody loot this shit? The fighting has stopped, and the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds. And ultimately, <laughs> wow, look at that. America itself. Didn't know Vault Boy was so influential. <laughs> Vault 76, our future begins. Hmm. I hear her voice in the morning hour. She calls oh me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. <laughs> Driving down that road, I get a feeling that I should have been home World yesterday. World premiere. <laughs> World premiere. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's not a fake trailer. It's Fallout. We know what it is. <laughs> oh, life is strange, people. It's yeah, just, me, just don't nod. Spirit. Mm -hmm. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture from my son. I always get picked last for the team. Fuck off, school, boy. And they never throw the ball to me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. Start the launch. Mm hmm. Okay. Too late. Emergency. Bye. Cute ass though, man. Time, it was pretty cute. You won't get away from me. Not me and I was an adult, but then I came out. Nobody's <laughs> friend. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. I know so. I hope I don't have to sacrifice you or the city, Dad. <laughs> the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. Oh. Mm. That was quick. Free. All right. Well, it's coming soon. That's well, neat. Free and soon. Exclusive. Hey. Okay. Where are the men horny about cards? I got a bingo card to win. <laughs> it's crack time. Oh, wow. The only game you got the lady in, by the way. Yeah. Big, beautiful. 
Show the trailer, not camera. Cut to the actual trailer full screen now. Okay. Is this got like a big improvement? Because part a lot of parts have just looked rough to me. Is he just a uh, guy whose name I'm forgetting? Old Spice guy? It's Terry Crews. It is like, Terry Crews. It is actually Terry Crews. It's, yes. it's it's him in in a game, like being himself, playing himself. So, so in previous trailers, they showed Terry Crews and he was just like a character in the game, but now it looks like they might have just gone like, what if you just played Play as Terry, Terry Crews? That would make people want to play your game more, probably. I mean, yeah. I I want to play it more now because it's Terry Crews as the character. This looks like a nicer Agents of Mayhem. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder if they had to tone down in like the full environment destructibility. I know that most of it was just like uh, multiplayer only, but hmm. 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 There were lots of comparisons between this game and Agents of Mayhem last E3. Mm -hmm. Yay, a good game. It's a good game. It's a good game. This is a good game, everybody. My game of the year. And some people are like some bad people. Or like, um, why does this just JW like this game enough for it to be number one? Mm -hmm. The answer is because it's really, really, really good, and the fact that there's one ass in it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's a single ass in this game, and it's not even like emphasized. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Yoko Taro doesn't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Like fucking <laughs> yeah. Hideo Kojima does with breathes to her skin. That's the difference. Sorry. Yeah. He's just like asses are nice. And I'm like good, fine, thank you. Yeah. Be real with me. me mm -hmm. I like the previous Metro games. I haven't played any. You. I've heard good things and I haven't played any. You might like them. Yeah. More the second than the first. Mm. The I've heard first the first is just like old and hard to play. And it did get a re-release where they like redid a lot of stuff. I've heard for it's like rude. It. And I heard it's improved, but yes, I played the original version of the first Metro, and it was hard. Yeah. So the economy in the first game was based on um, like clean, like well-made ammunition. Right. And it did you use it in your guns, and it would do way more damage. But also, it was your money. That sucks. <laughs> so you had to choose between saving money or using the bullets to do a lot more damage. Mm. Let's move out, Artyom. I'm just laughing at how clean and pretty that lady is compared to all these grimy, bearded, dirty men. The second Metro <laughs> game had that issue too, where there's like, uh, very early on, there's like a very brief like AI partner you had who was like a, a sniper lady. And she had like the cleanest, most beautiful fucking face because they just went for like graphics. <laughs> and it was weird because yeah, everything else in that game is so oppressive and. and Everything's so grimy dirty. and dirty, and everyone is like unkempt and. Her skin is perfectly clear. Yeah, that, that sniper lady is is like just super clean in that game. The day like I she see has a, like a lot of makeup on say, shit the, too. The day I see a pimple <laughs> on, on a woman character in games, uh, feminism's over. We won. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a big... A big fish. <laughs> big fish. I want that bat from Fallout. Uh, I really liked playing the second Metro game because it's campaign felt um, structure-wise similar to Valve games, like Half-Life 2. Mm, okay. It, it felt like that type of pacing and, and, and stuff. And if the heretics come for our lives, we will stand firm! So you got me, you damned heretics. Let's go jump! Looks like we're going to have to jump! <laughs> Are you gonna make that joke every every uh, conference? I wasn't thinking of it this time. Jump! Okay, that's February. Oh no, like every game's coming out in January and February now, just like 2017. Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out oh, in January. No. Oh boy. I'm over here now. 
Ooh. How'd I get Metro here? This guy's just recording him. It's right yeah. there. Brutal landscapes and it's mystery. <laughs> he has to just not acknowledge these what phones recording him. <laughs> That's awkward. Vast range of creative expression. From grim post-apocalyptic battles to hand <laughs> I'm expecting this guy to like starting. reach up and like zoom in on whatever his face with, with his phone <laughs> at full reach. Yeah. Tell, whatever sound effects they use. Lord Hot Monkey. Lord Hot Monkey. To guarantee That's him. That their games look and play best on Xbox One. <laughs> like this Woo. next game. Generations have loved role-playing games from Invented Studios in Japan. Our uh, next game is mm. the latest in a legendary series. Mm. Oh, trying to get Japanese people to care. On Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I should have, if I thought Kingdom Hearts was going to be here, I should put a Kingdom Hearts guest on here. Oh. Ratatouille in Kingdom Hearts. Ratatouille. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Kingdom Hearts. I love this dumb shit. Oh, it's Frozen World. Hey, Islander, what can I say? Wow, who's the voice Look, of Sora now? It's the same guy. Turning to ice. Haley Joel Osment, wow. it's still him. He's just old now. He <laughs> sounds weird. Yep, Frozen. Yep. Yeah. A walking, talking snowman. Oh, it's fucking hell. Alive. For some reason, I just never thought Olaf would be in Kingdom Hearts, even though it makes sense. Fuck. Never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's on these spikes. Uh, I've never seen Frozen. Olaf, fuck him up! <laughs> I like those skates. Oh, look, they're nice skates. They're, they're sledding. Man. Give me strength! <laughs> Olaf, give me strength! <laughs> Monsters Inc. Oh. World. The, the... Wreck it Ralph summon. Tangle. Aww. That's cute. Yeah, cute. Monsters Inc. we've seen. Yep. Yeah. It's about time they did a fucking Monsters Inc. level, Jesus. Yeah, yay, the gummy ship. Gummy ship. If it's like Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh, that looks oh. good! Kingdom Hearts 2 gummy ship was good and this looks good too. A butt. Look out! Oh. That's amazing. Are you a witch? You can control ice. <laughs> control it. No, all I ever do is hurt people. This is I have to quickly I state the plot of the movie I was from. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anyone. Hark! A new Hikaru Tata song too, Jesus. Is uh, is uh, Hercules Sean Astin again? I wonder. I don't know. Woody and Buzz are not. Get, they're, get they're John Ratzenberger in here. Is he alive? I don't know. Show me that fucking Ratatouille! Roxas <laughs> does exist. Oh, there's the, my heart. the tough fucking hell. That was a tough, goofy stance back there. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? Oh, shut up! <laughs> well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck yeah, it's all the same fucking dialogue it always I'm is. I'm allergic to this. I know you are. I'm sorry. You have to be here for I this. wish I could get joy out of that this terrible keyblade. light darkness crap. Mm -hmm. Is that? <laughs> Was he mounted on a wall? Yeah, it's, 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 he's trapped in a void. I'm a, yeah. I'm a hunting trophy now. Oh no, Aqua's evil or something. Who the bullshit oh, is boy. Aqua? That girl with the blue hair. Why is there 87 characters in this piece of shit game? Because Exclusive. there's deep lore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just want Disney characters fucking around. They had to go anime it up with the worst kind of anime. Mm -hmm. Oh, too bad no one cares. Not for me. Mm. That's not a lot. Like, that's not a lot either. Compared to how uh, long it's been out and stuff. Chad, I can verify people do actually play the Kingdom Hearts games because I play them. <laughs> so I have. No, I mean, at least they're one actually person. really, really popular. They're very popular. They're super popular. What are you talking about? <laughs> Put Guybrush Threepwood in this game, and then I'll give a shit. Yeah. I actually like meeting new people. Uh, besides the conversation. With are you okay, ma'am? Friend here. Your mascara is running a little. <laughs> I think he just needs a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. Uh, uh. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> the 
waves of change oh, 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 throughout the seas, oh, and a oh, new oh, land oh, is revealed. Oh, oh. The forsaken shore. Is there a story in Sea of Thieves? I don't know. I thought it was another one of those games where it's all about just hanging out with your friends, and there's absolutely zero structure or story. Zombie edition. Oh wait, no. If it's if it's one of those types of games, all the stories and stuff not in the game. Mm -hmm. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Don't drop it. Oh! You just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine. Twenty I'll bucks. Give you ten for it. Had no comic timing. <laughs> yeah, not really. That was oh, strange. It's really strange. Like jokes were attempted, but they didn't. They were, like, the jokes lands. were there, but the time. Yeah. Sixty dollars. Jesus. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a conquer game. <laughs> War is fucked up and bad. Want to play a fun video game about it? <laughs> Gott ist Hindesetz. Lande der Herr war wackert auf der Stürene. Der hat mich zum Bahn verzeiht, in meiner Historie um Skarpninger und Monster. Wie wird es nun als er hüte? Was erzählen wir, wenn der? Ja, es Battlefield. Ja, Battlefield. We know already! <laughs> <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. Oh, it's both. <laughs> also, their conferences usually go for 90 minutes to two hours, so we're only half an hour into this. Cars! Cars. Is somebody gonna get turned on about it? I hope Conquer's in the car. What is? <laughs> it runs over Conquer. I need more bingo spots, come on. time to take a bathroom break if anyone needs to pee or yeah, anything like it's that. It's Forza, so you know. It's a car. <laughs> wow, what an asshole. Asshole! <laughs> You're endangering people's fucking lives! Asshole simulator. Right. No, that guy was racing too. That's the only vehicle he owned. <laughs> Ugh. We should have just had like cover of a song in a different genre because we really here we should are. Just put, yeah. You shouldn't have been so uh, specific with gears using Mad World specifically. Yeah. But, I mean, it could happen, but it could still happen, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Racing is fun in other games when it's not the main activity for me. Yeah, if it's a distraction. Are we there yet? <laughs> Where are we going? We've been driving for approximately, based on the season changes, three years? Can we stop? Mario Kart, I can play for like five rounds and then I'm really bored. Mm -hmm. That's as much as racing I will do, mm -hmm. ever. Oh, this one is the, a long trailer of the same thing over and over One again. of the things that bums me out about racing games is that they're always some of the prettiest, most beautiful games. I you get to know. drive through all these beautiful locales, and you can't even get out of your fucking car to walk around in them. <sighs> Y'all! Would you, would you mark Please that as spending too much time in a boring game? Games, yeah! Fulton. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they're still talking they're still about talking it, about so yeah, yes. Yeah, and yeah. And so someone's about to get horny about cars here. Thank you so much. It is get horny about the cars. Come on. Here you, you can show the bingo I card now, see where our progress yeah. is at. We see if we missed anything. Are here. Horizon four. Set in beautiful I don't think we missed Victoria, anything. Britain. Crackdown 3 looked fine. I wouldn't Forza say it looked eh. Uh, it looked fine. It looked fine. Dynamic seasons in a shared open world. Um, and seasons yeah. I wouldn't say that the trailers have been vague yet. 
really. Yeah. I don't know about wants to be successful in Japan yet. They would have to get something no. big no, yeah. to really entice people. He was online with a few friends in the beautiful <laughs> English countryside. He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. Oh, this car. Oh, oh this car. You get horny even, about it. Come on. You don't even know how hot this car is. Oh, look, they have those accessibility controls. Oh, those cool things. That's my favorite thing Microsoft's done for a while, honestly, is making that cool controller. Perfect for taking jumps, oh. scaling rocky terrain, perfect. and having fun <laughs> on the coastline oh. of Britain. But oh, first, take me away, cars. <laughs> oh. She is enjoying the summer oh, in her highly customized <laughs> Nissan Silvia. Oh, the thing the has a one-inch clearance from the ground. <laughs> Can't get sexier than that. Oh. One pebble and you're dead. I love it. It's so sexy. <laughs> when you play, you play with the entire community. And that yeah, means that's the other drivers okay. you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety. <laughs> oh yeah, that seems fun to play. Constantly <laughs> dodging people who are just being assholes. I want to be the guy that was in that hot air balloon. <laughs> that's the gameplay I want from this game. And the unsexiest one of them all, the hot air balloon <laughs> up there. Meanwhile, Andy is you know what would make me way more into racing games is if they were based on like, you know, like when you're in like Michigan and like other some places where like a lot of dudes are just, there's just tons of super rowdy drunk assholes mm -hmm. like partying with cars. If there are options to be just like that super loud, annoying asshole oh, in your look car, at all the little, wow, the little autumn leaves. That's cute. With each bringing its own unique. This is a lot of presentation for a fucking gameplay. car game. It sells a lot though, so like I get it. This, world is that it's easy to interact this game. Hello there. The car said hello there. Want to drift? Hello there. Hey, want to drift? Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah. ASL. <laughs> Some gonna swipe right on, on this car race. This gameplay looks nothing how I would play this it's game too, because to uh, I would, like, when they were all really close to each other and they were all just, like, reorienting themselves to do this race and drifting shit, I would have immediately crashed into all of them. <laughs> I would have sideswiped all these you fucking people. You dinged my car! Look! They, that's never gonna happen. Everyone's gonna be fucking. <laughs> I mean, it looked really cool. I, I get it. Capture artists and shit. I'm on Mixer. Check out my Instagram. Why did they pretend these people are playing this game on the stage when it's cut? Like I want. This? I want a, a car drive by and a word bubble that pops up above it. It just says, "Since you're here, check out my SoundCloud." Let's see how this scene looks in winter. Oh. Also, yeah, what happened? Can you hit the sheep in this game? They drove right past those sheep. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the beyond recognition. Where am I? <laughs> I don't even know. Is this even a road? Are these cars? Oh, God, they're driving on the ice. Is Watch this, out there. Is this Forza? I can't even recognize it. And the driving experience Flawless cowboy. <laughs> And now a blimp has appeared over the ice. Oh, a blimp. A I love me some blimps. If this were a good game, you could ramp Port into the blimp. The entire community to come together and cooperate. Oh, to every, everybody do a big drift. And while they head off to the event, I'd Got like some to more show thunder you going on now. Horizon 4 looks in spring. Unrecognizable again. <laughs> what game are you playing? You just don't know. It's been winter for so long. Winters go on for 10 years in the Forza universe, which is why everything's unrecognizable. Yeah. Civilizations crumble in the meanwhile. Uh, why can't they have fun? Humans have lived on only by fusing themselves with cars. Wait, why can't they do something imaginative instead, instead of just being on Earth and ramping things? <laughs> Why, why can't this take place in ancient times and you're ramping off of Roman columns and shit? Today, Forza with the time travel component? Yes! Time travel Forza! All these things have flux capacitors in them. Yeah. The nerds will cream about that. beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Thank you so much. Cars. Starting to rain real hard. Welcome back, Phil Spencer. <laughs> he's coming in, he's coming out. <laughs> We know 
that exclusive wow, game from our Microsoft yeah. Studios or a Should what we originally window? turned so many Maybe it might start raining and get the rain mic yeah, coming Yeah, I can in see through. it's coming in a little. Okay, yeah, can you get it? It's easier for you, I think. Yeah, there's a couple things for you to wiggle past. Yeah. To make Xbox One the best place for you to play and for you to have the best games on the world's most powerful console. Slam. This is why we're increasing our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. And I'm really here. this is why we are amplifying the, um, our investment the gutters in are new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. But my love is already so deep. We embarked on a quest, <laughs> a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. Come on, revive and an old IP you got. Innovative game designers. Master storytellers. Fusion Frenzy. Exceptional world. Come on. <laughs> a new Blinks of Time Sweeper. Oh, that'd be I'm great. Proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. Oh. The initiative. Whoa. <laughs> well, that sounds uh, foreboding. Just imagine that if you work there and you go, well, yeah, I work at the initiative. They'd be like, wow. what the fuck is that? That's cool. scary. Is that a cult? <laughs> and you don't tell them. You don't tell them what your work is. And they'll just always be like, oh, God, that guy works at the initiative. Don't fuck with him. <laughs> they'll steal your family away in the night. World class talent to create. Yeah, the chance got it right. Voodoo Vince, too. <laughs> and next. I'm excited to welcome. His lips look so moist. <laughs> it's distracting me. Oh, the people who make um. Oh. Uh, State of Decay. Ah. Uh, with their visionary approach to right? building I think a so. zombie so. survival franchise, they just released their second infestation. Like a zombie version of Stardew Valley. <laughs> and in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Now. It's my distinct for pleasure applause. To know that we have acquired Playground Games. Cars! This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation. Celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground hmm. Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. We can't wait to share more about that later. Oh, you're being coy. Next year. You're being coy, year. Phil. It's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft. Oh. Wow, good for them. Wow. Howdy. I, met Nina and to me. I still haven't played uh, we, we uh, Hellblade. Everyone says it's good. Yeah. I haven't liked any of their other games beforehand, but... If you're into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. Wow. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Whoa. Compulsion Games. Oh. Two years ago, those, we premiered Those people. Oh, oh yeah, they made, mm, I can't remember the name of that fucking game. Uh, now. Game we Happy Few. Yeah, We Happy Few. Strong, You're right. Fresh, which didn't do great. It kind of changed I mean, what it was, it was in and early access for a while. I don't even know if it's like, out of early access, full release I think. To gamers everywhere. So please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. Wow, they bought a lot of shit. Boy. By joining us at Microsoft Studios, <laughs> these five new Come on, stand up, guys. Will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know. Is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile... Remember when this game was first shown off, everyone was just like, whoa, this looks like the new Bioshock. And it's like, no, it's like a... It looks like it was actually going to be a little creepy, and then it was just kind of a little bit goofy. Yeah. It's better.
everybody. Yeah, it's just like an extended Doctor Who episode. <laughs> do what you should be doing. And you never have to worry. Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for them. Oh, are they actually, they're making an actual, like, real single-player campaign now, oh, I think. Because, the, the, yeah, the original game was like a survival, that, yeah, that's procedurally what I wanted, generated yeah. thing. Where's the black boy? I'm still willing to give it a chance, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah. People won't face facts. Not I think the style is neat. Yeah, they executed their art style like it, very that, well. They'll murder each other in the street. Like the animation there too. Uh. Cool. Yeah, the chat's right Exclusive. though. It is kind of just going like, "Oh, psychiatric meds are bad for you, actually. Yeah. And don't help you," which is uh, the like. Uh. It's kind of a weird. I don't know. It's one of those things where you can tell they didn't intend to say that, but they are. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. Should have thought that one through a bit. Pubga. Pubga. I still have not played Pubga. I have it. If you want to play it, I can't return I it because I... I played more than two hours of it because I thought it would be fair to the game to play it for a little bit longer, and I still hated it. Yeah. I guess I should play PUBG at some point. It's another cover. Yeah. I did play with Sean and Jen, I still didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> then Sean accidentally like blasts you point blank in the knee with yeah, a shotgun. Yeah, he shot me in the kneecap. <laughs> they didn't take out like almost all of your health too or something. Yeah, I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just did die. Yeah. I'm bad, I'm bad at competitive games. I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. I just don't play competitive stuff. It's just not fun enough. for me. Well, that was some- Yeah, I saw some lightning out some there. lightning out there. Well, everything's plugged into the surge protector, so... And now Conker's here. Oh. <laughs> and now a single-player campaign. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I just want Conker to be in something. World I don't even player. like Conker. <laughs> it just is a joke. You want Conker to show this up. This is a joke. Conker's bad fur day. <laughs> oh. Catering towards the Japan. Now I think we could say it a little bit more like, yeah. Fucking Tails. Tails games. I was confused for a second because when they first put up the title card, it's like, oh, it's returning. And they had the lens flare there. It was the same design as these lens flares. It looks so similar to the mm. Nokia Solid 5 trailers. Yes, it does. I was like, what are you doing with MGS5? <laughs> I've tried to play the Tales games a couple times, but I just can't get into them. I have no opinion. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't like them. I've heard of the name. That's they're not, <laughs> they're not turn-based, so that's good for you. They're mm. action games, but... Mm. Oh, remember that clip you like of Troy Baker shouting all those... Oh, is that from... That's <laughs> that guy. That's that guy right there. <laughs> so good. Heavenly Blade Wing! Blade Wing! Heavenly Blade! Rising Wolf! Rising Wolf! Heavenly Wolf! Mystic Art! Wolf! Blast Heart! <laughs> it sounds like he's trying to remember his password yeah. and getting angrier and angrier that it's not right. Oh my god. If you haven't seen that video, please find it. Okay. Well, good for those people. World premiere. <sighs> Washington DC the most heavily this is the division two I bet watch dogs four <laughs> we're skipping this is like the same type of presentation they used for the first division so 
in the event of an attack, critical How do you remember all this stuff about know. games you don't even play? I don't remember this shit until like I see it and then there's like a weird compartment in my brain that just holds this stuff. 27 days after patient 0. Washington fell. By the way, the plot of the first division was that Russia like spread a, a, a virus throughout the US by contaminating their money with it. Right. Right. Is on the brink of collapse, but some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles. In communities that live under constant siege, survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. Now, in the heat of summer, Six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt state lurks in the shadows, ready to engage in a new civil war. Agents of the division mm -hmm. are the only ones standing against them. Yep. But how do you save a nation when its enemies come from within? Whoa, dude. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's a fucking Tom Clancy plot. <laughs> Now we're getting like actual game shit and everything. Oh. Oh dang. Matt, that crash site is just ahead. Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. I think this is fake team speak. Oh, good, good. My favorite thing from E3. Look at this parachute. Dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. Did you pick it up? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are coming or what? Yeah. I'm just trying to imagine the process. Oh, Merry Christmas. Somebody has to go through to write fake team speak for uh, a game trailer. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, the door. Karpinski, it's the division. Let me just talk to this guy. Karpinski. Is this lady just talking to herself? <laughs> like, because <laughs> okay. her friend Meet us at the talking back. Yep. Okay, sure. Is your friend's mic not on? <laughs> Watch out for that bee. Shoot it. Very, very large yeah, bee. Enemy far. bee spotted. Okay, do it after the crash site. Sounds good. <laughs> Their map's cool, though. They're just ahead I like of that. Us, <laughs> 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 I mean, it's in a I game just, that's like, yeah, who cares? I just so. don't care. Yeah. Kit, we gotta get you leveled up. I know. Please help. I've been busy. We're trying to make it more natural. We think within 20 years we can finally develop uh, AI that can do the team speak hey, for us. Really check this out. They're like so there. close to almost like so almost doing the, the team way. speak in a way that sounds. It's not real because one of these people should have a baby screaming in the background at all fucking times. So should constantly be coughing. Don't aggro him yet. You should hear a bubbler, the bubbly yeah, sound, yeah. the bong yeah. getting ripped. Exactly. Yeah. Look at the 3,000 guns in my inventory. Cam cloud out. Matt, can you flank them and get a quick Drink shot? that juice! I'll take that <laughs> Delicious off. juice! The cover free. had a big, unopened carton of orange juice. You should have drank that. Oh, man. What if that was poisoned enemy juice? You don't oh, know. Oh, no. Grenade! Duke, come on. Yep, yep, yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Matt, I need your help. Over here. Uh. Hurry on, does somebody drink that orange juice? <laughs> <laughs> My OJ meter is running low. I mean, there's that big orange bar yeah, there. That's the OJ meter. <laughs> that's yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Stuck. <laughs> stuck on geometry? <laughs> I got the goop on me. Somebody help. <laughs> The Russians have launched an evil goop bomb at me. I need something made of acid to dissolve this goop. What about that orange juice oh, over there? Got him. <laughs> God. Thanks, Duke. He had a family. Oh, damn it, Duke. He had a family. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. That weak point. <laughs> oh crap, Matt, watch out. Setting my turn. Thank you for the revive, Meg. I've got this guy behind the tank. Map of the hive, nice. Alright, just lay it on him. Lay it on him. I, I love how uh, anti cuss words these people are. Yeah. Alright, flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. <laughs> nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? Let's go. Hello. <laughs> it's hey, Air kid. Force One. Is that Air Force One? Uh. Like excuse me. <laughs> this is Air Force yeah, fucking Air Force One. one. <laughs> Please find the corpse of Trump somewhere. <laughs> bloated. More bloated than usual. Make a political statement. <laughs> What are you talking about? Video games aren't allowed to do that. <laughs> it's illegal. <laughs> it's a crime in the United States of America. The what should happen right now is that the White House lifts up off the ground, transforms into a giant mech controlled by Russia, and then you got to shoot its giant glowing weak points. Cut. Yeah, see the cut before the boss fight with the White yep. House. Mm -hmm. I did it again. <laughs> Please welcome the head of engineering, Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. Cool name. Yeah. Especially it, it was spelled like Spiker. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Ashley. What's up? This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible Are we graduating or something? <laughs> Are we going through puberty? Worlds, new releases. And cult classics. I'm finally going up to ninth grade. Genres wow. we love, <laughs> and genres we'd love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often we are forced to choose. Too many women in games. Game I don't... <laughs> so we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer? Xbox Game Pass. The answer, we developed a helmet that shoots all video games into your brain at once. <laughs> Directly. And your response has blown Eliminate us away. your backlog within Not an hour. Not only are you playing more <laughs> games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice. We're also researching a uh, technology that will increase your human time. lifespan to about <laughs> 250 years old, so you have the chance to actually play all of these games. So for the last year, we've been working on It works, on but you will be a shriveled up husk. To all those games. <laughs> We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. <sighs> and naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current Can I just play games at twice system, speed? <laughs> fast forward. That, that would actually help for some games. Techniques based on how gamers actually play games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start will launch for select titles in the June update coming later this month. Where'd that guy who went, woo, 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 woo. I miss him. Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection coming later this year. Oh, there he is. 
<laughs> we also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more, into the Gamers Xbox love game Pass games. And with Catalog, Game Pass, you can game, game all the gaming time. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass. I need to make library. a synonym for games. Games like <laughs> Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point. After Party All looks cool. I want Xbox to see more Xbox about Game it. Game Pass the same day as their global. Yeah, I've never seen the trailer, but I've, I've just never seen. I never like remember to like follow up and like see what the gameplay so is really like. That's yeah. what's next. But let's talk about what's happening today. Today! <laughs> Tom Clancy's The Division. Whoa, there whoa, he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those are the hype guys paid to the woo, so hopefully a couple more people will start Amarillo wooing too. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the left side. And Fallout 4. Woo! Well, that guy didn't go at times. Is he getting tired? He assumed there would be a woo. For Xbox mm. One X in gorgeous 4K. In and gorgeous all what? Of them playable hmm? today. In gorgeous. In, in gorgeous. Game. Gorgeous 4K. I'm engorging. Yeah. Thank you to all of the developers working with us to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. There he is again. Woo! Oh yeah, golf game. <laughs> The golf game should have had Mario in it. <laughs> That's should, my opinion. It should have been a Conquer golf game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Conquers the golf ball. <laughs> oh, the golf ball is like a, a nut, like an acorn or mm. something. Anywhere, somewhere, conquer, please, God. I don't even think he's funny. <laughs> He's just like a more successful Bubsy to me. He's a vulgar <laughs> Bubsy. Yeah. Harold Halibut. Oh, well, it looks like stop motion claymation look stuff. That. That, that looked really cute. Show more of that thing. That was weird. What was that called again? Harold Halibut. Okay. I have that, but I haven't played it yet. Everyone says oh. it's really good. Well, those games look pretty decent, actually. Okay. <laughs> yep. I I knew why I came here. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. I forgot there was a third Tomb Raider happening. The end. Is she gonna ask about somebody's people? No people. Now the truth feels further away than ever. I still have so many questions. You said you were going out. But I heard you through the wall. I said don't go far. You That's a strange cut. <laughs> editing yeah, decision that, that made no sense. <laughs> we can't let Trinity get hold of this. The tragedy you have unleashed. The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. What have I done? Yeah, these uh, split screens are really strange. Hmm. Is this final game just like what Lara Croft does is bad, actually? <laughs> <laughs> Laura Croft accidentally commits a war crime. <laughs> I speak 
Oh, stop it! <laughs> that is weird. I hate these split screens. They don't add anything to the trailer besides confusion. Bad trailer. Ugh. I know that it's hard to believe. Is he gonna be your friend and you can ride him? <laughs> you don't know that you cause all this Ooh, Star Wars wipe. <laughs> <laughs> my ass is connected to my ass. <laughs> I mean, trust each other. it's been scientifically proven that that is the case. There's a parallel dimension where your butt is always touching your butt. <laughs> you just can't see it. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a different plane of existence. Yeah. yeah. To the course of humanity. If you had that power, what would you do? Wouldn't stopping him also alter the course of humanity? <laughs> Whoa. Alright, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Bad trailer for what's probably a fine game. Mm hmm. Exclusive. Skate four. <laughs> yep. They say I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable, die hard. True sickness, put this mic on the tripod, but I'm not shout, young bad. Break them, still a pillar of stone. Blows into your skull. Mash on your whole militia like a cannibal. Imagine you the antelope, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal. If this isn't just a skateboarding game, it is actually skate four. Uh, can, can you please keep all the wacky glitches from Skate 3 in it? <laughs> please. Because those are some of my favorite they're fucking so, videos on the internet. They're so fucking funny. Come on. Jump and grab your skateboard and lodge yourself halfway into the ground and then launch yourself into the sun. It's the best fucking part. <laughs> While making tons of juicy thud noises. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like somebody's... Slapping a big hunk of meat against oh, the no, wall. Oh no, it's something else. Uh, I wish uh, it was Skate 4. It might have glitches too. Yeah. Maybe. I'll pretend that was Skate 4. Exclusive. <laughs> they say you only live once. But gamers have many lives. <laughs> I was born three They say times, YOLO, but... <laughs> and I've met death three times. My first home was Altanova. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the forbidden questions. <laughs> what if you microwaved a burrito so hot? I was thinking that too. What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? The world never paid heed to such questions. They just fought on, blinded, and hungry. The guy's eyebrows was pretty good. Very striking. It's that I, at long last, reveal the hidden secrets once and for all. Could this be food? No, this, this looks more like Dragon's Dogma. Hmm. Some people say it might be some kind of MMO. I am Elezra, the darkness born from the desert. Elezra? Oh, it's Black Desert. Um, okay. Right. I am, I Les I am a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> World premiere. We've known each other a long time. Hold the line! Hold the line! <laughs> uh, is this X-Con? 
No, oh. this isn't XCOM. Nah. This looks a little more anime. Like this much trouble. You gonna make it through this? I like those aliens. Capcom. Capcom. Frank West. Oh. <laughs> what if that? Is this Devil May Cry? Oh. Devil May Cry! Ah. Wow, look at. <laughs> is that Dante? That's Dante. Holy shit. Hey, honey. Is this like a whole fucking reboot of Devil May Cry? <laughs> I mean, it says five. Oh no, is that Nero? I mean, there's a lot of guys that look like Dante oh, yeah, in Devil May Cry, is, yeah. so. <laughs> I was thinking what if Frank West was in instead of zombies, it was some sort of alien invasion game. Alien bugs. Alien bugs. Hmm. Oh, that's fucking Nero. He... Yeah! yeah it's Nero! That's how he fights! That's <laughs> What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? He looks like he's in a boy band. <laughs> he does. It's music rules. <laughs> oh man, surfing the missiles. Cash first. This looks like it plays a lot more, like, actual Devil May Cry and not that bad reboot, but it looks a little more aesthetically like the reboot did. Mm-hmm. Huh. Aw, oh, I'm excited for fans of Devil May Cry. Where's Dante? Show him. Yeah. There he is. Fucking make it full screen! Show fuck- Oh, oh shit, he's, he's old! He's old. He went from being an uncle to a grandpa. They didn't Please zoom in on the screen for that? They didn't fucking show old Dante? Oh. Fucking hell, man. Show some more gameplay after this is something. And it's like the guys who worked <laughs> on the older Devil May Cries too, Aww. so. That's nice. Fucking, I should have put Punish Dante here, oh, not you're Punish right. Master Chief, Jesus. You're so right. As director, I wait for you for this. Thank you so much. DMC is back! Aww. <laughs> English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. <laughs> of course. It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno I'm back! <laughs> 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 Early on in the development of Devil May Cry 5, we he, he's an interesting looking gentleman. Have world -class he looks like he will be so in Devil May yeah, Cry 5. Yeah, he does. All of our main characters. And with the power of Xbox One X, his, his eyebrows are very intense. I like them. Mm -hmm. Now, while visuals are. His eyes are kind of like squinty, mm -hmm. smoldery. Well, so we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. Hahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Everyone is adorable in this game. Mm -hmm. Neat! I'm glad Cuphead seems to be successful because they uh, yeah. had to sacrifice Exclusive. like five years of their lives. <laughs> they and had to like whatever. mortgage their houses to yeah. make that game. Jesus. Oh, uh, I forget what they made. Aww. Oh, wow. Look at him. He's Link if he were a fox. Oh. <laughs> Can't read that. Sorry. He is Link if he was a fox. He is cute. I like him. Aww. <laughs> Chad's saying, is that Conker? <laughs> Oh, they showed this once before. Yeah, I think I remember seeing yeah. this. Yeah. I'd play it. He's cute. It looks cute. There's not a lot of cute games so far. Mm hmm. Aw, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, I totally remember this now. Yeah, yeah the yeah. dodge roll and stuff. Yeah. Yep. He's a talented it little looks dude. Neat. I hope it, like, comes out soon or something. That would be cool. Uh -huh. It looks good. Oh wow. <laughs> A literal dark horse. Tuning. That was what it was mm. called. Okay. Completely forgot its name. Because it's a generic I name. I had forgotten about this game entirely, honestly, <laughs> but I'm glad that it's tiny there. fox in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. We call him the labor of love uh, conceived flink. And created by a yep. flink. <laughs> and Halifax, Nova Scotia is today commanding gaming's largest stage. You play as Link's Whether fursona in this groundbreaking Xbox title. We we decide we just change it on stage. It's Fink now. <laughs> We're teaming up with Xbox Live friends Young to Fink. slay zombies. Gaming is an incredible community. We've always believed that building community is vital for gaming. There's real power in our shared experience. Sharing the same world, the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, Everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. I mean, some of those before were also... <laughs> Starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. Mm -hmm. On my last trip to Japan, their they creative make some cool team stuff. showed mm -hmm. me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. Yeah, yeah. World. Yeah! You know that guy, wow. Oh, yeah! <laughs> there are worlds that exist separate from our own. Where the impossible is reality. They consist of both One good. Piece, the game. That's One Piece. Evil. That's One Piece and Evil. Dragon Ball also, I think. This is some weird crossover thing. But or maybe it's just One Piece. Changed. Now they have begun to merge. Naruto! What? In Naruto's it? here too! Excuse me! This is the me? fighting game. This is the fighting game. Are the heroes we could only imagine? <laughs> uniting to fight. Oh my fucking god, it's Smash but anime, everybody. <laughs> what if JoJo's in here? Oh, what if JoJo's in this bitch? If this is just a Shonen Jump game, then that would JoJo be absolutely could be in here. Fucking show JoJo! Yes, JoJo! <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I like how I identified One Piece. I don't know anything about One Piece. I've never watched One Piece, but I was able to identify that boat thing by the front. It just looks. It has such a it's, unique it, art yeah, style. It's like yeah, really easy style, to the just. The colors. Yeah. Where's JoJo? Jump Force. Jump okay. Force. It's a Shonen Jump game. Anything in Shonen Jump could be used. Oh! Look at that! <laughs> it's fucking L! What? 
What the fuck? I'm gonna play as him and eat. Uh, no, not him. Uh, I want to play as the other guy and like one of my moves is eating a potato chip. Mm hmm. Light. World premiere. Light eats the potato chips. No, light. Yeah, he does eat the potato chip. I was thinking. Light eats the potato chips. chips. Oh Jesus Christ! That's hilarious. Does that count as uh, trying to be successful in Japan at all? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's been 15 years since the fall. That's hilarious. The city is a corpse. <laughs> I don't like and fighting games at all, but that's great. <laughs> we burrow in it. If they keep adding more like wacky fucking characters, <laughs> if there's. If there's some academia characters in there too, oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's published in a Shonen yeah, Jump, Shonen then Jump. I will fucking play that game. Oi. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. Crunch. That guy had a juicy skull. These choices. Yeah, this might be dying light yeah, too, I guess. but the setting is a little more. To come. Like the first dying light was like very. It was just like real world, and this is not. Post apocalyptia. Yeah. Chat says Conqueror's worst fur day. <laughs> oh no, it is Dying Light. They were right. Dying Light too. Conqueror's worst. Good guess, fur everybody. Day. <laughs> Please welcome narrative designer. A sequel Chris should Adam. be called Conqueror's worst fur day. <laughs> that would be a really good sequel title. Oh man. It's a really big house, man. That they're in. Hi, I'm Chris Avalone, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2. Uh, for the chat asking, does the, the Shonen Jump Smash uh, game count as Microsoft making a Smash game? No. It has to be Microsoft themselves, with one of their studios they own, okay. developing a game using Microsoft IP characters like Marcus Phoenix and Master Chef. I almost said Master Chef. Master Chief. Master Chef. Master Chef. Bleak and unforgiving reality Cooking Halo. That we call That's the game the I modern dark <laughs> Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2. A technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences in the game itself. From how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur, everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Yeah, no one's ever done that before, or <laughs> promised that before, and it didn't actually happen. Yeah. I never played The Last Dying Light. It looked like that island, but, uh, competent. <laughs> <laughs> Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist... Uh, people in the chat are saying, so this is Chris Avalone, the, the games the he's written for that have had like choice and stuff, they actually like they did matter. Cool. Uh, he wrote New Vegas, okay. where like, your choices actually do affect yeah, that game. Yeah, they affect some stuff. Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeeper's orders. One way or another. No. <laughs> you start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peace to use the restroom. Yep. and develop the area. I know what this is gonna be like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. Surprisingly, they kind of changed up the saying like this for the, the Dead Light 2, or Dying Light. 
Now let's return to that the first game was like just I'm pretty sure them, you choose to team just up like with this group, normal contemporary setting. Like when I first saw this, I honestly thought it looked a little like Dishonored, sort of. Consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this in turn attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. I wonder if they have one of the art people who worked on Dishonored or something. Each player's game experience that would make sense. Will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Oh man, they're making the clicker noises and everything, huh? Exclusive world premiere. World premiere. Still, we're going. Still All going. right, a still lot going. Of time past. A new comics You've zone. Soft. <laughs> complacent. You always knew this day would come. That would kind of be cool, actually. Comic you Jumper Two. The three of you would be needed again. Three. You always. Wait. What? Oh, this is, is this fucking Battle Toads. Yeah, this is Battle Toads. <laughs> Cute. Wow, they're actually old IP revived. I can old IP revived. Check that off. A brand new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three-player couch co-op. Oh, can, can you show it? Five D graphics <laughs> and broad, non-specific feature declarations. <laughs> they're back. No, nope. not gonna show it. Son of uh... a bitch! Show the new Battle Toads. You got some. Ah. Whatever. I mean, we kind of know where we're getting with the Battle Toads, but that was kind of... It wasn't a CG trailer, though. No. It was fake, though. Well, they're making a new Battle Toads. That's cool. So that's pretty cool. Just Cause 4. This already got leaked. Oh, <laughs> Good job, Steam. <laughs> Oopsies. Oops. And Walmart. Walmart All Canada. Right. That's a shame. Really nice weather for a tornado to be out. Yeah. Was ready for it. Almost heaven, West Virginia. <laughs> powerful private army, but even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. I like Just Cause Two lies as a sandbox game, but I heard Just Cause Three had a lot of issues. But I never played it, so I don't know. It's good because it is, it is the game with the grappling hook. Yes. <laughs> Man, I feel like Just Cause 3 just came out? Am I misremembering this? Holy <laughs> time. I hope the subtitle for this game is Just Cause 4. This is the one with the tornado in it. <laughs> They're really banking on the tornado. Oh my god. I mean, it's cool. There hasn't been tornadoes in games, really. <laughs> that is true. World premiere. Uh, chat, people going, why are people talking about Battletoads? What I miss? They announced a new Battletoads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Come on, you know, oh, oh fuck. No! It's a Funko, it's a Funko Pop. Pop. If it was an Ender it would look cute. <laughs> oh no, are they gonna have a Funko Pop game? Oh, where they're all no. stupid and square headed? Boo! Oh no! Funko Pop is gonna have video games like Lego does. Boo! Boo this! They use the Wilhelm scream. Gears Pop. Oh, it's Boo. a mobile game too! Jesus! Boo! <laughs> fucking Funko Pops. No one From fucking clapped for that. <laughs> Please welcome studio head Rob Ferguson. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. 
We are committed to I fucking cannot, up this franchise. I am, I cannot see Funko Pops without immediately hearing Bazinga. <laughs> they're like synonymous to me. They, they People are, who like Bazinga like Funko Pops. They are Bazinga <laughs> made, made of more journey. Tangible. No Funko Pops only work when become. they're modeling things that cannot well, adhere to the normal the template of Funko Pops. Yeah, those, those ones are actually kind of cute. Fast. The ones that look like and the things they're supposed to fucking look like. Yeah, those ones are kind of cute. with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. And mobile is not the only new place yeah, we're going. There's a bird outside who's fucking going for it. <laughs> Tweet! Gears of War going for being a bird. Completely different genre, Gears Tactics. Oh, uh, uh, yep. I can, I can, I can, uh, check this off on the thing, too. Microsoft doubles down oh, on Gears. They're, yep. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre. Oh, if you get a fable, you got a bingo. Faster, more aggressive mm, gameplay. Yeah. A customizable squad and equipment. Oh, it feels like, it feels like Gears is what they're saving for last. Uh, yeah. So. But this is a disappointing last, though. Well, I mean, they're, they're doing, they're going to show the real Gears after they announce all these uh, side projects is what they're going to do. Because they want to end on the big thing. They're tripling down. It's also about having new experiences. And the amazing team at the Coalition is working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. Well, thanks for having something other than the Funko thing. <laughs> Woo. As Kate, as Kate, you'll journey across the biggest and most beautiful world we've ever created. With the war for humanity escalates on two fronts, outside the capital city and within Kate herself. <laughs> In this moment from the game, Kate gives <laughs> a rescue message to a remote <laughs> village, but something goes horribly wrong. Woo! <laughs> Something goes horribly wrong. We forgot to bring the demo. <laughs> You don't want to see this. I always do find like the emotional stuff in Gears War to be really funny to me because the, the game with the chainsaw just, guns. Everyone's so big. Every, yeah, it's everyone's, so funny. everyone's just thick and chunky in these games. It's just uh, kind of funny to try, try to see them doing like realistic emotional things like, when everything a, else is so cartoonishly the, disproportionate. There's a thing in Gears of War 2, I think, where it's like one of your. It's Dom. I can't remember their names anymore. One of your buddies who's always with you, like, finds his lost wife, and she was basically in, like, one of those Fallout, like, uh, phone booths where you hide in to mm. avoid the apocalypse. She's, she's basically one of those, but she was just, like, she'd been there in, in there for way too long, so she was just, like, this husk, brain dead husk. And then there's, like, a 10 minute cutscene of, like, him crying and then, like, shooting her in the head because it's too awful to live that way. What the fuck? And it was, like, <laughs> just, like, feed her and stuff. <laughs> For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place. Up north. Fucking Marcus Phoenix. His I face. Think we can find you answers there. No, no, no. It's like a catcher's myth. <laughs> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Look, we'll all go okay. with her. <laughs> I'll push Jack the corner. Okay, you go with her. I'll meet up with you're you later. One of us stay behind. It's a he'll, four player co op game. So. He'll, he'll drive me and we'll pick you both up. Screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice, I know yeah, that. because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? I can hear you. Where are we going? Back 
to where it all began. <laughs> Yeah, protagonists do say that a lot, don't they? They do. They really do. Or they say home. Yeah. Playing a lady in a gears game. That's pretty neat. Yep. Wow, he's goofy as wow. fuck. I like him. He was indecipherable. He was cool. Great animations. Yeah. Really nice neat. There. Really neat. I haven't played any gears games beyond um, the first one when I, it came out, so I, I any. don't know how good they Why are. Why did you come here with me? What did JD tell you? This is a wild game of survival. Time for gamers to be mad at ladies in it though. Mm -hmm. Boo hoo. Now! In the entire now! history of Xbox. In the entire history of E3. In the entire history of our industry, in the entire history of the world, is now at its most vibrant. Today, we shared our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcased more games than we ever have before 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. That was a bunch. They showed a couple I actually Today, care about, which yeah. usually doesn't happen at Microsoft conferences for me, too. Yeah. Wow. In every measure, from breadth and art style, genre and cultures, range and subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. The world of gaming in, is on an You think the wooing guy is tired now? <laughs> where the increasing <laughs> number of gamers <laughs> met with the increasing creative power of Come on, man, just like open up your shirt a little bit there and reveal the inside chest pocket. Fucking Conker's high in there. Surprise! <laughs> He's in Gears of War 5, it's the him. downloadable Answer. skin. We commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft to deliver on the future of play. Our experts in Microsoft research are developing the future of gaming AI, so the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich On uh, VR Conquer. <laughs> We've created Our a new Microsoft AI, and his name a game is Conquer. streaming <laughs> network to unlock console-quality gaming on any device. <laughs> Not only that, we are dedicated to perfecting your experience everywhere you want to play, on your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team, the same team that delivered unprecedented performance with Xbox One X, is deep into architecting deep. the next Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. And let's talk about our games themselves. I feel like this part is going on for 3,000 years. Yeah. To building an industry leading first party <laughs> studios <laughs> organization. <laughs> and as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single year investments in teams by adding five new creative <laughs> studios. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, <laughs> so we can declare to you today, and next year, and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. <laughs> wow! Woo! So choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become. Together. Thanks, and have a great Easter.
<laughs> I wish there was actually a fucking glitch that would have been funny. It was well timed. It's Watch Dogs Watch 3. Watch Dogs! It might be Watch Dogs 3. It's probably Watch Dogs. It's really good timing. Oh no, excuse me, duh, this is gonna be cyberpunk. Ew. It's cyberpunk. Watch Dogs 3 wouldn't be big enough for them to do this. At like, at the very end. <laughs> final, new final. <laughs> it's, it's good. That's how I remember <laughs> Well, they, they made Witcher 3 and it was really good, so I hope Cyberpunk is the same. Mm. In 2077, they voted yep. my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. It's already more cyberpunk than cyberpunk things because I saw two people with neon mohawks. Mm -hmm. Also, it takes place during the day. You don't see that in cyberpunk. Yeah, you never see that shit. This city's always got a Bold move. For you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. City of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Oh, my God, <laughs> sir, are you okay? <laughs> VTech. That's a pretty cool car, I will say. I love their logo. By uh, the way. Yeah. Their logo is this great. nice logo. I can't believe it's taking place during daytime. That's amazing. Yeah, nobody ever does That's that. That's impressive. <laughs> I hope you show some gameplay too. <laughs> nah. You announced this game like. That was neat. They announced that game like seven years ago or something. Ah, oh, fucking hell. No gameplay. Well, uh, Cyberpunk looks cool, even though they show literally no gameplay. I really like their art it direction. It looks really cool. They it look like they have a really realized world there. They, it, It's much better art direction than I see for most Cyberpunk stuff, which is just like, well, it's dark and wet and There's neon colors. There's still a lot of purple. And that's it. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, let's, uh... Look at Cyberpunk 2077 is there. Did we have a vague CG trailer reveal? I feel like we probably did. Does Cyberpunk count as that? That's pretty vague. We don't really know how it's going to play yet. Yeah, we know, like, yeah I they, think so, yeah. They just said it's going to be an RPG. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's an RPG. I, I mean, think that counts as vague. I, I think that's still vague enough, because I have still no idea how it plays. Yeah. Um... I don't think that guy got horny enough about cars to, he to was count pretty, as horny. He uh, emotionally normal towards yeah. cars. <laughs> I was just like, this car is cool anyway. I like cars. No fable. Cool new game again on Switch instead. I don't know, Ori in the Blind Forest has been pretty exclusive to PCs and Microsoft yeah. stuff. So, no Punish Master Chief. No awkward interview. No Final Fantasy. Halo did not become Battle Royale, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Microsoft isn't making their own Smash. No Banjo. Fucking no conquer, no destiny like. Crackdown three looked fine. Alan Wake two, got real close to a bingo. Really close to two different bingos. Yeah. If you got the awkward interview or, or fable. fable, you would have gotten a bingo. Yeah. Also, the song the song is back. <laughs> <laughs> Make the booty drop. Make the booty be mine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's that. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> um, Mostly cool stuff. I mean, yeah. Devolver. I wouldn't say the Devil May Cry 5 interview was awkward. No. No. No, it was cute. 
Like, I'm sorry. He doesn't know English very well. He's not fluent in English. I would not call that awkward but, yeah. at all. It was, it was no. sweet. Whoop. Well, it's over anyways. <laughs> it's over. It was fine.